Hi, I am Ivy Smith, and I'm here with the beautiful and talented Sasha Ann. Hi. <laughs> so, I saw your video, and I loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, it's like, it's a remake of, yes. you know, Pretty Poison. Can you, can you tell me how you just thought of uh, just remaking it, or like your process, or what you were thinking? So at first I was actually like before recording that I was writing my original songs and um, before I went on, before I started filming my first movie Reads Point, I sent all my originals to the movie producer and she says that I should have like a hit song I should record a hit song before releasing my originals just so people could be like oh she sings too okay we like her material so far maybe we could hear some of her originals if it ever comes out <laughs> so I'm like okay yeah that's a good idea let's come out with a hit song so we decided to do Catch Me I'm Falling by Pretty Poison and I just can't believe it happened <laughs> just all so quickly <laughs> But I'm just honored that I got to re-record it and make it my own. Okay. So um, when you were growing up, did you did your parents listen to that? Because I know you're you're young. You don't even you weren't there when that came out in you know 1987. So how did it just pop in? Like I want to do that song, or how did that come out? So when my manager and my movie producer told my mom, okay, this is going to be the song that she's going to be re-recording, my mom said to me, I remember that song. This is so exciting for you. I'm like, okay, sounds good. <laughs> she was like so beyond excited because she remembered that song. She listened to it. So did my dad. So everyone was very excited that I was redoing it or I guess remaking it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I loved it. I was like, what? I remember this song. <laughs> Everyone loves it. I do. I do. I love it. And I love your video. So I know it's different from, you know, their video back in the day. Cause it was also, uh, I believe for a movie. So how did you come up with your video? So my movie producer, she was the one who came up with the idea also collaborated with the, the director of my first movie, Dale Fabigar. So together they came up with the idea of the music video and it was just amazing. I got to pick out my own outfits. It was so cool. <laughs> so I had a really good time filming it and it was a process. It didn't just happen like the next two days. It took a while, but I'm so happy with how the final product came out and Jade Starling, the original singer, she's actually featured in it, which is pretty cool. Um, I didn't even. Oh, was she the uh, like one of the managers or whoever was that was standing up or? <laughs> she I don't was remember. the one. When I was on my phone, she was like on the face. Oh, card, that was her. Okay, yes, okay. that was her. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't know how she looks right now. So <laughs> no, she looks the same. Okay, she um, didn't age whatsoever. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, I got to go back and, and rewatch that video. So it's iconic. <laughs> the, yeah. The, the original, my, I got to see how she looks like, cause I forgot. <laughs> oh no, she looks the same. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good to know. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, I do love your outfits there. Thank you. Um, you're very well creative and I love, so there was this one, it kind of reminded me, you look like the little mermaid. Were you going for that or? So actually, I was not going for that. I was just doing like the red hair to like, I don't know, I guess, go back to like the original video. Mm -hmm. And it, I guess it just turned out to look like the Little Mermaid because I'm like, okay, I can't wear a pink dress because pink clashes with red. So mm -hmm. I'm like, what other color would stand out? So I was thinking Cinderella blue. But I'm like, oh, wait a second. I look like Ariel. Interesting. But I love it. <laughs> yeah, it lo you looked great. I was like, oh, my gosh, I totally love this song. I got to share it with my friends. So Yeah, I'm just waiting if you if you ever do the IOU one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. No, but Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I, I want definitely let me know, please. <laughs> oh, yeah, I definitely will. <laughs> okay. Um, so question, 
Uh, so I was going to ask you, like, you know, was, you know, that guy in there, you know, somebody you knew or did they just pick him out or, you know, <laughs> go so, be nosy. <laughs> there was a casting director for my music video and he picked him and he was awesome. And I'm so happy that he was in it because he did a really great job. Okay. I was like, you know, maybe. maybe no, we not. didn't meet before. <laughs> but okay. he's super cool. We still keep in touch. Okay, good, good. It's always good to keep in touch. Yeah. So um, let me ask I know you were, when you were 13, you got into makeup. And that took off very quickly. So <laughs> what? And I know I'm coming from the video and then going to that. I, but like, okay. what made you or... Who introduced you into the makeup or, you know, how did you get inspired to do that? I kind of introduced myself. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess when I first watched Hannah Montana on Disney Channel, I was like, oh, my gosh, her outfits are incredible. I love her makeup. And then my mom said, Sasha, they put makeup on her before she goes on TV. I'm like, oh, so it's not like her brows don't look like that. She's wearing a ton of mascara. I'm like, that's so interesting. So then I actually started to go on YouTube. I wanted to learn how to do that myself. I just fell in love with Hannah Montana, all the sparkles and the pink and all that kind of stuff. So I searched up just tutorials and I found, I think it was Jaclyn Hill, Candy Johnson, those <laughs> types of YouTubers. And I wanted to start to do makeup tutorials and I started to practice all day long in my bathroom. My door was closed. My mom was like, Sasha, what are you doing? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> I was just trying to do it over and over again. And I filmed my first video and everyone was like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. I want you to show us how to do more kind of stuff like that. So I started to gain subscribers and followers and people were loving it. So then I kind of went from makeup to the transformations and that's how I got started. I I saw the one with you and you had that, the, like, it was like a swan. That the swan? Was, yeah, the swan one. Oh, my God. Everyone keeps <laughs> saying that's their favorite. I don't know why. It's like, it's so old, but that <laughs> transformation, everyone keeps talking about it. <laughs> that is, that was so cool. I was like, oh, my gosh, you are so awesome. And I was wondering, you know, are you going to do something cool like that again? Like Halloween's coming up. So it is. So I'm actually playing my Halloween videos now. And apparently Monster High is coming back. And I was such a huge fan of Monster High when I was younger. So the fact that it's coming back, I'm like, that is amazing. So I think I might do a Draculaura makeup Ooh. transformation. So we'll see about that. Oh, so cool. Awesome. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm going to definitely... also have um, my Sally Nightmare Before Christmas transformation uh -huh. that's out there. And I just love the Tim Burton style of it. Oh my gosh. That's my favorite. I am going to follow you and check that one. I'm going to wait to like, <laughs> when, when is she going to do it? <laughs> so you. that's great. Um, so when you started, you know, a few years later, now to now, you started doing singing. So did you, I know you said you're a producer and collaborated, but did you really, you know, want to go into singing and then acting or did you just like, it just fell into your lap? <laughs> so I've always been singing since I was probably three and it just, it was always a passion of mine. It's literally my therapy. And I've always been writing since I was 12 and recording. So it's basically just, I've always wanted to do it. So I was really happy when I got the opportunity because I already had my originals. They're not out yet. They will be probably after this next coming song. But um, yeah, I always loved singing. Oh, that's so great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, that's awesome. And I know you were, you, you were born in New York and then you are you moved to where? Los Angeles at the How end of February. How are you liking it? It's a challenge. <laughs> Currently there's a heat wave. So <laughs> I'm like stuck inside all day. Aww. And um, California basically is telling all residents to turn their AC off from one to 4 PM. I'm like, not mm. happening. I'm sorry. Oh. No. <laughs> wow. So 
do you see yourself going back to New York or somewhere uh, somewhere else? I mean, I go back to New York for holidays to see family for events, but I'm basically in LA most of the time. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, um, I, I know you've been in some movies. Uh, tell us about that. So I've always wanted to get into acting as well as music. So when after I graduated college, everything was on a pause and I told my mom, I want to try and get into acting. So my manager at the time, she knew my producer and she showed her my materials and she said that I wanted to get into acting. So she basically made a part for me that um, I guess this was kind of like a start for me. This was my first movie. So they were coming up with the character that would be perfect for me. And honestly, she's a lot like me. So it's great. <laughs> but we started, I think, April of 2021. Mm -hmm. And it was just, it was amazing. A great experience. And I want to do it all over again. <laughs> oh, man, I bet. It sounds like, you know, you're just skyrocketing. So whatever you like touch turns to gold. So that's awesome. Exactly. <laughs> It's just I, I dream big and whenever I want to do something, I literally do not take no for an answer and I work hard at it and just I keep on going at it until it happens. <laughs> Good. That's awesome. Very, you know, very inspiring. What would you say to the kids, you know, um, that are trying to make it to where you are or just any advice? I'm going to be completely honest. It is a rough process and it's a lot of turn downs for especially for acting wow there's so many turn downs and it's not always yes 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 because you have to get through the audition process you have to find the right people to back you up and be your support system and it's a rough industry brutal and it's so much competition but I think found a lot of people, um, great people to be by my side and help me through the whole process. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Uh, a lot of um, people just think it's so easy. And, oh, you know, no. they wake up like I can be an actress or singer. Or right. YouTuber, no. so. I mean, you can, but you have to work at it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That is the key there. <laughs> like I have a agency and I'm still on backstage, like submitting myself to things. So it's like, it's a hard process. I just keep going at it. Oh, well, definitely. I, I can't wait to see your next, your new projects or, you know, um, if you're, if you're ever in town in the DC area, you know, maybe we can catch <laughs> up. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, anything else you would like to add? Um, I think you covered it all. <laughs> <laughs> wow, great interview. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I wish, wish all my interviews would be so easy like this. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, any shout outs to anybody? Yes, shout out to my mom for helping me get to where I am today. And shout out to my manager also for helping me out and my mentor, he shout out for being there for me all the time. Oh, that's awesome. So tell everybody where they can find you. They can find me on Instagram at simply Sasha Ann, YouTube, Sasha Ann, TikTok, Sasha Ann. You hear that, you guys? Just Google Sasha Ann and you'll yeah, just basically it'll come up. <laughs> <laughs> you can find her that way. So much e it's easy, you know, you go to YouTube, all of that, just yeah. put up her name. <laughs> it's all linked in the same places. YouTube, everything is in there. So oh. Well, I definitely can't wait for us to see you, uh, your new projects, your new YouTube, you know, videos. So I'm definitely gonna wait for those Halloween ones. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, it was a, such a pleasure to meet you. You know, she is so oh. beautiful. I can't believe you are 21 now. 23. Oh, my God. <laughs> you look so good. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you guys, check out her. How new. old do I look to you? <laughs> well, with the makeup, you know, I got to see you without makeup because you know how people could just zhuzh them know. up. And <laughs> 
<laughs> but you still look good. I don't. I I don't know. Some some um, people want to look older when they're younger. You know. So I mean, I would say you're about twenty one. Okay, fair. <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely would card you if you went to a bar and I was your bartender. <laughs> <laughs> I still have to show my ID. <laughs> you do? I mean, I don't go to bars ever, but I still have to show my ID. <laughs> you probably get carded just to get like a lottery ticket. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Enjoy those times. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, well, it was a pleasure. You guys check her song. It's, it is it's awesome i love the video she looks so hot in it catch me i'm falling and you can't miss it. i mean i can't wait to see any other new projects that you're in so you know if, if you put a new song out or whatever please let me know <laughs> yes <laughs> Loved it. all right well thank you again for for being here and your time thank you for and, having me <laughs> oh no i my pleasure's all mine <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to play your song after this. Again, you guys check out Sasha Ann. She's, she is beautiful and her tutorials are awesome. Thank so, you. <laughs> and the video is so cute. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Ivy Smith and this is Sasha Ann. Thank you.
everybody. Welcome back to Video City. It's your girl, Jules Alizé, and I'm in the Bronx today with Sarcastic Boom Bastard. How are you doing, honey? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing amazing. So tell them why we're here today. Well, basically, we're here today uh, for my birthday album release party. Okay, okay. Yes, so it's like a mixtape, double CD, uh, 26 songs in total. Sheesh, yeah. how did you even get through that? 26 songs, how long did that take you? Honestly, it took me about a good year and some change. That's actually a short amount of time, I feel like. For 26 songs? Yeah, yeah. I was recording like every weekend, like going to my people's recording every weekend. That's like so, two songs a month. I want to say probably four songs per session. So yeah, oh, wow. yeah, yeah. You're knocking them out. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually I got to chop it up with sarcastic. Well, what, what, what did they call you? Short? Like, do they say the whole thing or? They, they call me boom bastard or you know sarcastic. Yeah. So what you want to call sarcastic or boom bastard? I like boom bastard. I think they got boom bastard. bastard too, yeah. All right. Yeah, sarcastic. You'd be like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, boom bastard. Right. So I chopped it up a little bit with him prior to uh, to getting on camera, and I did ask him. You know, a little bit about his music process. You did say you're with a group right now, so yes, tell me a little I'm bit about that. part of a group called Mass Hysteria, and we're based out of Boston, Massachusetts. So you come back and forth to, to, uh, to the Bronx yes, a lot? Yes, back and forth. We're like four hours away, so this is like my second home, you know. Um, New York has definitely um, received me well. Um, I love New York. My brother's here. Um, shout out Beloved Music Studios, you know, for even having us tonight. You know what I'm saying? My brother Dutch. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm just happy to be here. Getting it working, Getting right? Working. Yeah. So we will catch a little bit of the uh, the party for your your album release. Hopefully, we get to see you in the studio oh, a little bit. Will. Yeah. Will. Yes. Okay. I um I did ask you, right? What what do you think the industry right is coming like right now? Because a lot of there's a lot of artists, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of artists. Um, there's a lot of labels. There's management. What do you? How do you feel about? you know, being an independent artist versus, you know, signing up with a label and what's going on right now? Okay, so basically I feel like being an independent artist, you basically have, uh, you own your rights to your music, mm -hmm. you know, you have uh, your own creative rights to your yeah. stuff, you know, the labels can't tell you what to put out or when to put out or when to drop, uh, only, only difference is like the labels will have the money behind it, but they more necessarily own you, you know what I'm saying, and they have a control over you, you right. Right, right. Process. They can even take your royalties from you. You know what I'm saying? As independent artists, you can collect your royalties mm -hmm. from every streaming platform. You can put it out yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, they got platforms like CD Baby. You can release your music through. Um, Distro right? Kid, yeah, stuff like that. So it's, it's <laughs> you can make it happen out here for independent artists. Man. So you, so you're an independent artist, but you have management. Yes. Right. So some people may get that confused as not being an independent artist. So can you explain to them like what's the difference in that? Yeah. So what it is is um, I'm basically signed to a management label. Um, it's different from a management deal. I mean, different from a record deal. Okay. So you know he's my rec he's my manager, also my brother. So you know what I'm saying. So yeah. I do wanna I do wanna save some some time to see you in the studio because okay. then I'm gonna ask you a little bit more about your creative process. Okay. But unless you wanna get into it right now, you can tell me like what's what's your favorite part about what's your favorite part about being an artist? You've been doing it for 15 years, so clearly you you love something about it. So like, what's your favorite part? So my favorite part about it is hearing the beat, and it's not just about any beat. The beat gotta specifically talk to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If the beat talks to you, then you can. You start going and start writing. That's my favorite part. I'm a songwriter, so that's my passion. That's what I love to do. So eventually, one day, I am going to be songwriting and writing songs for other artists. Who knows? You know, one day. So, I mean, not one day. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Because yes. you, you want it to happen. You want it to happen, so yes. it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going right. to happen. Right. Now, how um, it took a year and a half for this, this album. Yes. And you said that you have... <clears throat> Either solo or with your group, you have over a hundred pieces of work already yes, out. Already, yes. What is that churning like? Like that 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 um, what do they call it? Not a treadmill, the conveyor belt of music, right? Well, yes. how is that like for you? The the flow. How often do you release, or it is all um, a matter of whenever, in, whenever inspiration? We feel like it's time. Like after we didn't, you know, put out a record and see how it's, how it's moving, right? Pump it a little bit. And then, you know, then you feel like it's time. Okay, I think this one is moving a little bit now. We can give them something new. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? So I say like every six months, drop a record or something like that. Yeah. That's good to stay, stay, to like not stay, stay relevant basically. You, know, you, got, you definitely, as an yeah. artist, you got to stay relevant. That's that's a fact. Because people are going to forget about you. You're not going to be hot press no more. <laughs> 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 okay, so it's a, it's a hot press going on. We know you like the writing process a lot, right? Yes. And you want to you wanna be focused on being a writer. Um, are there any other creative things that you do besides music that you're getting into or that you like to do? Or like, yes, is this actually, just... um, surprisingly, um, I like doing a little bit of acting. Yes. 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 Um, so I want to give my guy um, a big R.I.P. Um, he was like a legend in the city of Boston. His name was Don Hazel. Yes, man. This guy would work with anybody in the city and bring them together. That was the that was his whole agenda to bring the city together because there was a lot of separation, you know, egos and everybody thinking they bigger like crabs in a bucket type of mentality. So his objective was to bring the city together, you know, by doing movies and films, short films and stuff. So I actually got to play in one of his movies, you know. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So I'm I'm, I'm looking for check that out, guys. Yes, yes, indeed. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to doing something down the line, you know, acting. Yeah. All right, so we have to follow you and see how you do with all of that, because I feel like he's going to be dope. You got the personality, I feel like. Well, thank you. Thank you know you what I'm saying? It. Thank you and so much. We, anything we put our mind to, it's like it's going to, exactly. Manifest, exactly, so it's, it's, it's going to happen. Um, okay, I'm excited to see you as an actor <laughs> now. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Now, um, tonight, what, uh, tonight's your birthday. Well, actually, tomorrow is my birthday. Tomorrow is your yes, birthday. We're celebrating it tonight. Okay. Yes. All right. Cool. So now, are you uh, are you gonna use that date as like a day to drop special projects, or because that's a that's pretty dope to drop your out or to have the album release party on your birthday. I feel like it's a, it's a special time to always. It is a special time, and you never know. I just might, you know. Just gotta make it, stay, make it tuned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned. Stay <laughs> tuned. All right, guys. So uh, let's get in with him uh, in the studio, and we'll be back. Coming, man. Yeah, for real. Yo, we gotta do this like now. You ain't lying, my nigga. You heard? I hear you. Let's go. Let's do it, my nigga. Our time is right now. We've been patiently waiting. We've been patiently waiting. We've been patiently waiting. Our time is right now. We've been patiently waiting. We've been patiently waiting. We've been patiently waiting. Our time is right now. We've been patiently waiting. We've been patiently waiting. We've been patiently waiting. Our time is right now. We've been patiently waiting. We've been patiently waiting. We've been patiently waiting. Niggas be hating. Cause I be going in like Walter Payton. I be spitting that ring and kicking real information. Flow so natural with no hesitation. No debating. Flame torch to ass have you evaporating. He's a PAC plus he got a master of evasion. If his head is shaped like a snake, it's time to annihilate him. And stun you out of time like Denzel and annihilating. My time is right now cause I've been patiently waiting. Like Michael Jackson on stage. Have the whole crowd freighting. What? From the beautiful picture that I be drawing. No doubt. 